everybody and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every single time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. So we're going to get into some NHL action for February the 13th. But before we do, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to the VIP club section right here that has all the tools to help you make your picks. All right, so we're past the halfway point of the NHL season and every game, every series that comes up is going to be important as far as playoff positioning. So let's take a look at some of the games. Calgary at Ottawa. If you take a look at this one here, Calgary comes in, average down, they're coming off of two straight losses and they have lost three out of their last four, while Ottawa is burning hot winners of their last four and four and two over the last six. If you look at the uh, um, over under, Calgary has been involved in games over the line five out of the last six. While well, Ottawa has been involved in games over the line in just three out of the last six. The score predictor has Ottawa by a 3-2 to two score with 55.5% level of confidence in the prediction. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator, Calgary has been stable at plus 13 over the past week or so, while Ottawa has climbed from plus 5 and they are now at plus 13 as well, so even up as far as that goes. The stability factor... You notice that um, Ottawa has been much more consistent with regard to their fair to underdog status at plus 17, while Calgary is only at plus 2, and they have never really been very consistent all year long. Their highest was at plus 4. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchup for this season, you can see that, uh, well, the teams haven't played yet this season. The last game that they played against each other was back on January 13th of 2022. So in the end, I like this one to be a Senators win, even though that in the standings they're a lot worse, but they're the hot team right now, and they're at home, so let's go with the Senators, but pass on the over-under. Next game we want to look at is Florida and Minnesota. Florida comes in burning hot winners of their last three, while Minnesota is ice cold down. They've lost their last three games. If you take a look at the over-under, you see that both teams have been involved in games over the line, Florida in five out of the last six, and Minnesota in four out of the last six. The score predictor has a high scoring game, 2 4 3 in favor of Minnesota with about 61% level of confidence. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator, Minnesota was at plus 25. They are now at plus 12, while Florida was coming in at plus 6 back on January the 28th, and they have climbed up to plus 16. If we look at the stability factor, both teams have been pretty consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status, coming in at plus 15 for Minnesota and plus 12 for uh, Florida. The two teams met yet this season. Uh, they did back on January the 21st, with Florida winning at home by a 5-3 to three score, and they actually were a slight home underdog in that game. So in the end, I like Florida to win this one as well. I like them on the road to win in a high-scoring game, perhaps into overtime, but Let's go with Florida and over the line. Next thing we want to look at here is Detroit and Vancouver. Uh, the very evenly matched contest here. You can see that both teams are coming off of a win in one and two over their last three. Uh, Detroit coming in average stats as well as Vancouver. If you look at the over under, you can see Vancouver's been involved in games over the line all six of their last six games. While Detroit has been involved in games under the line of four out of the last six. The score predictor is thinking this is going to be more of an over game, 4-3 score in favor of Vancouver with 64% confidence in the prediction. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator, you can see both teams are near the bottom. Detroit was at plus 12 back on the 27th of January. They have dropped down to plus 9, while Vancouver is sitting at plus 3 after being up to plus 6 back on the 6th of this month. Um, let's take a look at the volatility oscillator. The stability factor, again, both teams have been very consistent with regard to their favorite underdog stats. For a while, they were not. If you were back earlier in the season, neither team was, but now they are, plus 13 and plus 12, respectively. In head-to-head -head matchups, you can see the last game that these teams played against each other was back on March of last year, so nothing for this season as of yet. This is the first one. I like the home team in this one, so I'd go with Vancouver in a game going over the line. Okay, the last one we want to look at is Buffalo and Los Angeles. You can see here that both teams are coming off of losses, two straight losses for the Sabres, 4-2 and two of the last six. You can see Los Angeles, the same thing, coming off of a 5-4 overtime loss to Carolina, and they are 3-3 three and three over their last six. Both teams are in the average range, average for 
Buffalo averaged down for Los Angeles. Um, and as far as the over-under goes, Los Angeles has been involved in games over the line in four out of the last five and five out of the last six, while Buffalo has been involved in games over the line in three and under in three, and just one over and two under in the last three games. The power ranks indicator shows both teams on a little bit downward trend. Buffalo, uh, well, this is Los Angeles, they were at plus 29, they are now down to plus 26, while Buffalo was at plus 20 just um, about two weeks ago, and they've dipped down now to plus 12. The score predictor has Los Angeles by a 3 to 2 score with about 72% level of confidence in the prediction. And the Kings are currently fourth in the Pacific Division, and the Sabres are fifth in the Atlantic. So both teams have something to play for as we're looking for a uh, postseason uh, berth, hopefully down the road. Um, if you look at the head to head matchups, though, it was all Buffalo in the first meeting as a slight home favorite, but they just wiped out Los Angeles by a six to nothing score. Uh, the stability factor, you can see here, very important here, Los Angeles minus one. Very inconsistent with regard to their favorite underdog stats. So take it with a grain of salt whether their favorites are underdogs. Uh, whereas Buffalo is moderately stable at plus seven, but even they haven't been as stable as they could be. They were up at plus 11 back earlier in the season. So in the end, what I'm looking at here is I am liking the Kings at home. I think they're going to rebound from the last game against, these, against Buffalo. I think they will win by a couple of goals and let's go over the line. So there you have it. Those are the games in the NHL for February the 13th. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.